Got a game here with Tactical Lich. The new Nurgle and versus new Dwarves. And I brought uh, the big boy himself, Tarmacon. I really struggle to make good builds with Tarmacon on his Toad Dragon. He is so expensive. But maybe on foot he could work. He does get anti-large when he's on foot, but that's pretty whatever. Some good damage resistance melee defense. Mostly I wanted the Black Cleaver. The plus 24 melee attack for my Pestigors. Because Pestigor is here. 33 melee attack with the armor piercing. That's okay, but like the plus 24 could really help get through the front line. And then of course we have the Feast of the Maggot Lord. Maybe if he has a hero hammer, I could just dive into them. And if I die, I die. Other than that, we took the Chaos Sorcerer of Nurgle, the new hero, on his War Shrine to provide a little bit of passive healing. Tarmacon doesn't bring any of that. And then I only brought Stream of Corruption, his armor-piercing breath spell, to get through that front line. Pestigors and Marauders of Nurgle with great weapons across the front line. Trying out these new bad boys of Nurgle. And then we do have some Furies, some Dogs, and the Angels of Decay, Plague Drone, ROR with Death's Heads. They just have more ammo and higher stats. On the side of the Dwarves, we have a Gyro Bomber, a Demon Slayer, a Goblin Hewer. I'll throw it in slow motion because the battle's kicking off a little too fast from here. But a Goblin Hewer, the short range axe throwing thingy that has a Slayer crew. And then three Slayer Pirates. Unbreakable little hybrid infantry with their pistols. Being all angry. We have some regular Slayers, Miner's Blasting Charges and Dwarf Warrior front line. We do have our Runesmith in the back. For this Demon Slayer, Glorious Death, Hammer of Karak draws. Glorious Death is just like the Red Crested Skink thing. Models cannot die, but it only affects Slayers around him. And then he has some various combat buffs, including Worthy Foe, Terror-causing Entity nearby. Terror-causing Entity? Does Tarmacon cause terror? No, so I didn't bring any terror for him to proc that off of. Whoops. Poor guy. Anyway. Gyro Bomber, trying to get some work done on my Pestigors for now, doing very little damage, and they are being zoned off by my Angels of Decay. Blasting Charges trying to hit the Pestigors, but with their extremely spread out formation and high HP pool, they aren't that affected by the Blasting Charges just yet, so they're doing good. First Overcasted Breath Attack goes through the Dwarf Warriors. I wanted to wait for the Castle Horror Serve Nurgle to get in range so he could start stacking that uh, intensity for his heal. And the Goblin Hewer is starting to hew this poor guy down. A lot of damage coming his way already, considering we, the battle just started. He's already down about 4,000 HP. Tarmacon also hits the front line, pops the Black Cleaver, giving these Pestigors 57 melee attack. And we are pushing through the Dwarf Warriors very, very quickly. And my caster is already half dead. He's the back off. His Goblin Hero continues to bother him. You know, Tarmacon also blitzing through the front line, doing just fine. Pestigors are through. So even a Dwarven front line can't hold up to this Nurgle Pestigore charge. Now, this guy is extremely damaged. He has 26% stack on his Giver of Bundle of Glory, so he is getting some slow healing, but man, he's taking a lot of damage. Goblin Hewer currently under attack by Plague Toads and Chaos Furies. I knew I had to shut that thing down because it was doing so much damage to my poor Chaos uh, Sorcerer of Nurgle. Gyro Bombers landed to get away from the Angels of Decay, but uh, and they hit among their Slayer Pirates, but I still have Furies. I still have Pestigores chasing them down, and already these guys are routing. Chaos Warhound's going to back off. Other Chaos Warhounds fighting against Slayers and Slayer Pirates. Just trying to stop the damage. Get a quick little rear charge of the Midas Blast Charges. Maybe try and get them to route before the dogs are out. But the dogs do get going in the Miner's Hold for now. But the Pestigors have really helped me get through this front line. I gave them various buffs. I did overcast uh, Streams of Corruption, but still. Tarmacon is currently bodying a Runesmith. Even though he's surrounded by Slayers, Tarmacon doesn't really seem to care. He should. He's he's not that armored, and he's a he's a you know ogre. But I have support. I'm doing okay. My cast source of Nurgle is here to help out as well. Slayer pirates have used a lot of their ammunition, doing quite a lot to my angels of decay. Plague drones. Still, angels of decay have a lot of ammunition left among them, and they're just gonna chase off the gyro bombers. The goblin hero is back. I honestly thought I had killed it at this point. It does not seem to be the case, as it's relining up its shots. To return fire on my Chaos Sorcerer of Nurgle as we try and kill the Runesmith nice and quick. A Fecundity is out to heal me up as the Goblin Hewer does get a couple shots off in my direction. We have dogs running away. There's the Goblin Hewer. Decent little damage on my Chaos Sorcerer of Nurgle and I am going to start pathing him away. Surprised how much of that Goblin Hewer missed. 
And I'm trying to get the Angels of Death to group up. Oh, they're shooting at uh, Tarmacon now. They're doing pretty good damage. Anyway, trying to get the Angels of Decay to get a little bit of healing from a Chaos Sorcerer Lord of a Sorcerer Hero guy. I don't want them to fade away. Goblin Hero is just about out of ammo. There it uses its last shot over here, but it is done. Slayer Pirates, one of them has three ammunition left, and after that, my Plague Drones with Death's Heads will be completely uncontested in the skies. They can use all their ammo shooting at the Demon Slayer, which it looks like they're going to they're gonna start doing already. He is the last thing I'm scared of. There's a bunch of random Slayers left, but I have Pestigors to fight them. Tarmacon can do okay. Stream of Corruption can do okay. But I'm mostly worried about getting into a late game with this Demon Slayer. But if I can get him low enough, then Tarmacon's passive, the, like, worm thing, Feast of the Maggot Lord. Tarmacon's passive can kill the Demon Slayer if he's low enough, so I could just suicide into him. And as long as I have something else alive that if Tarmacon and the Demon Slayer kill each other, I can still win. So the Death's Heads are going to go regroup with the Sorcerer of Nurgle, just for that uh, Giver Abundant Glory slow heal. Meanwhile, Tarmacon gets in here. Slayer Pirates are shooting him, and while he is a decent target for that, it's also fine by me. He has his uh, defensive stuff popped, and as long as they're not shooting my precious Plague Drones, I'm okay. Tarmacon gave Black Cleaver to the Pestigors, giving them enough stats to get through the Slayers. Their armor piercing is useless against Slayers, but I just need raw stats. And Tarmacon's gonna avoid the Demon Slayer for now. Big Ekron's Binder Blast and Charge on the back of the Pestigors, though. Don't love that. I do have some dogs coming back to the fight. The Slayer Pirates continue to try and poke at Tarmacon. They're getting good damage down, but this also means the Angels of Decay await. Chaos Horse of Nurgle needs to return to the fight as well. He's only up to 56% stacked in this whole battle. I think that's about as far as he's going to get. Dogs take the fight to Slayers. Just to get a little bit of damage here and there. It's a worthwhile trade. Dogs are super cheap. Slayers are expensive. And all of the ammo is gone. My death's heads are now safe. I worried about their leadership a little bit. Their leadership just kind of tanked. So I need to pull them back and get a little bit more healing on these guys as I slowly feed Pestigors and uh, dogs to their death. I do have one healthy Pestigore left, and I use him as bait to get off a big stream of corruption down the line of the Slayer Pirates and other Slayers, but that will cause the Pestigores to rout. More Pestigores, again, fighting Ekron's Miners. Look at them go with their Great Axes. And then they shattered. Tarmacon and the Chaos Sorcerer of Nurgle get involved with all these Pirates. And now I've kind of gotten to the fuck it point. Like, yeah, Demon Slayer, come fight Tarmacon. See what happens. I'm shooting you with these little grenades. I have Feast of the Maggot Lord. I can die. You want to die? I'll die. And for Tactical Lich, he has his Demon Slayer pop glorious death, so none of these Slayers can die right now. But he is trying to hit my Chaos Sorcerer of Nurgle. He's mostly ignoring Tarmacon, much to his own detriment. Tarmacon's going to body his ass. Slayer has 50 melee defense. Tarmacon only has 16 melee attack, but I'm still like, hitting every shot. Death's Head still three shots left. Demon Slayer's so low now that even if they kill Tarmacon, it will guaranteed kill the Demon Slayer with the Feast of the Maggot Lord. And I'll heal up during it, so I'd probably survive. At this point, it's probably GG. I don't know if Army Lost is hit or not yet, because everything that's left is a Slayer. And Lich is going for my Chaos Sorcerer of Nurgle just out of spite as another stream of corruption goes down the line. Other Dwarves hits like every Dwarven unit that's left. Still two shots left for the Angels of Decay. And Tarmacon is in here. Fighting a Demon Slayer. There he is. Look at that little Demon Slayer. Look at him go. Big ol' sweep. Demon Slayer's down to 200 HP. Tarmacon's still taking damage. No Feast of the Maggot Lord just yet. The Demon Slayer. 60 HP left on him. The Death's Heads take him out with a grenade. Fecundity is even popped. Heal up the Angels of Decay and my two uh, heroes. And the Pestigors, getting their vigor back to... Trying to get them back, but they're currently very tired. Anyway, Pestigors with the extra leadership from the Chaos Sorcerer of Nurgle's Giver of Abundant Glory. Wait, no, Favor of the Ruinous Powers. They're nigh on Unbreakable. Next to all that leadership, so we're going to be fine. Pestigors, Death's Heads, Chaos Sorcerer of Nurgle, and Tarmacon. Victory!
Tarmacon, not like amazing individual value, but he provided really good buffs for his front line. Like the Pastagors really needed those melee attack buffs, so it was fine. I don't know if he's going to be like a meta lord in general. I think his price point is really, really high for a melee lord, but he's fine. He seems all right. Nurgle Caster also provided some good auras. The RR Plague Drones did very well. Pestigors did very, very well for me here. And then uh, the Furies did what they had to. Dogs did fine. Marauders did well. So, GG. Tactical Itch. Demon Slayer. I tried the Dragon Slayer Hero. And then uh, Gargrim Hero. Those guys are fun and cool. I, the Demon Slayer Lord felt really underwhelming. Runesmith I sniped out. Gyro Bombers felt really bad. Goblin Hewer was freaking amazing. Uh, Slayers did well. Slayer Pirates also did very, very well. I wrecked his Dwarf Warriors, and Miners of Blast Charges all did nicely. So, GG. Rawr. Subscribe, yes, yes.